and we'll do the alpha message archiving that is important and then uh, call recording. Okay. So, Cisco Unified Attendant Console Advance. Attendant Console Advance is a Windows based operating attendant console application for use exclusively with UCM. Attendant Console Advance emulates the functions of a manual telephone switchboard and enables attendant console operators to quickly accept incoming calls and efficiently dispatch them to recipient within an organization. Uh, Cisco Unified Attendant Console Advance provides res uh, receptionists with a software interface to answer and forward large volume of calls as they come into an organization. So basically, this is designed where a lot of uh, calls, of flow of calls, is a lot is large, to be handled by some uh, like receptionists or some some operators, and they have to forward calls, or transfer calls, or answer calls. Uh, so a volume of calls is to be handled. So it makes it easier to manage from a single console. Calls can be answered based on call uh, on hold and forwarding. The console provides visibility of call queue activity, shared active call notes, and informative call tags for held recall calls. The customizable contact directory that is there in this console presents contact phone line. Daisy lamp field is there by default. Cisco Jabber, Skype for business availability, status information. All that we can see from this console. The Cisco Unified Attendant Console Advanced Call Flow is in this order. So here we can see the calls are delivered from the PSTN to CUCM via the voice gateway. The voice gateway is for Cisco router here. The call is then routed to the CTI route group. See the CTI route group here is configured in the CUCM cluster in the, within the CUCM. So from there, the call is delivered by CUCM to Attendant Console via IP phone. So it is going to attendant console and then from the attendant console, it is going to the IP. Cisco Unified Attendant Console Advanced has many queue features. So its queue features are it supports 100 queues with prioritization. So that is how many uh, queues it can support at once, that is 100. Operator queue assignment can be there. Queue view, we can view all the queues. Uh, the all ongoing calls and the status and you can manage all those calls from there. Queue statistics can be viewed. Queue overflow options is there. Queue salutation, music on. So different options or features are supported. Then about directory feature. So it has many directory features like Active Directory, some other platforms like iPlanet directory. All these integration can be done for uh, directory features. Manually, we can add contacts. Bulk administration, update and delete of the contacts. So we can add uh, delete, update contacts as well in bulk. Personal directory groups can be created, search options and present integration. Okay. About telephony features, there are uh, some telephony features like operator handset mainly, transfer reversion, that is called roll, uh, call recall, call park, Call path recall, call toggle to switch between the different calls, conference, emergency mode switch, out of arm out. These are the telephony features that can be put from this console. Additional client side features are auto unavailable on Alder, server based console preferences, console client user single sign on, adjustable font size, accessibility, attendant console, client localization. Now about the platform requirement. So in the production environment, the Cisco Unified Attendant Console Advanced Server runs in either a physical server or a VMware environment that is compliant with the Cisco specification based hardware support program. Physical server hardware requirements are these. So the, if we are using a physical server for this purpose, the hardware requirement is it should be 2.2 gigahertz Pentium 4 processor, 4 GB RAM at least, 80 GB available hard disk space and has a network card. If we are using a VMware guest machine, then the requirements are it should be a VMware ESXi host only. You need one virtual CPU, you need 4 GB RAM, 80 GB available hard disk space and network. 
then server software requirements. So software requirements are, it needs an operating system, needs a database, and some other uh, programs, like operating system should be Windows Server 2012 R2 64-bit or above, Windows Server 2016 64-bit. Database should be SQL, uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, 2014, or 2016, standard enterprise or express versions. Other things it needs is the support for Java, .NET, and NTIs. These are the software requirements. For reporting, uh, we can do uh, sys or in the settings for reporting, different parameters we can set like the range, time range, queue type arrival, delivery, and all. So to access unified reporting, you need to log in to Cisco Unified Attendant Console Administration only accessible by the operators. So reporting can be used only by the operators and you can access it using the console administration. There are different report types and needed parameters. Incoming calls by date and time, from and to date, start and end date, queues, abandoned call timers, arrivals, and updates. Operator calls by time, operator calls by queue, operator availability, operator start and end date. Overflow calls by date, start and end time, start and end date. These all can be seen in the report. 